Hello everyone. Today we will discuss on important current affairs of 27th January. You can download PDF from the link given in the description of this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. Let's start. First question. Where was the international summit on women in STEM organized by the Department of Technology? Right answer is New Delhi. Department of Biotechnology has organized the summit Women in STEM Visualizing the Future New Skylines in New Delhi. What is the full form of STEM? It is Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. The aim of the summit was to boost the past pressure of women in the STEM field that is Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics for the development of scientific careers. Around 350 participants from different STEM fields across the world participated in this. Next question. President Ramnath Kovin has approved the conferment of Jeevan Raksha Padak series of awards on how many persons? Right answer is 54 persons. Jeevan Raksha Padak series of awards are given to a person for meritorious act of human nature in saving the life of a person. The award is given in three categories. Sarvottam Jeevan Raksha Padak. Uttam Jeevan Raksha Padak and Jeevan Raksha Padak. Sarvottam Jeevan Raksha Padak was given to 7 people. Uttam Jeevan Raksha Padak was given to 8 people and Jeevan Raksha Padak was given to 39 persons and the remaining 5 awards are posthumous. Next question. Which state has celebrated 50th Statehood Day recently? Answer is Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh has celebrated its 58th statehood day on 25th January 2020. In which year it became a state? It was in 1971. On 25th January 1971, it became 18th state of India. Who is the chief minister of Himachal Pradesh? Jairam Thakur and its governor is Bandaru Dattadreya. Next question. Where is Bharat Park 2020 being held from 26th to 31st January 2020? Answer is New Delhi. Bharat Park 2020 began at Red Fort Ground in New Delhi and will continue till 31st January. The objective of Bharat Park is to encourage people to visit different tourism places of the country and to instill the spirit of Deko Apna Desh. The theme of Bharat Park 2020 is Ek Bharat Shrest Bharat and celebrating 150 years of Mahatma Gandhi. I repeat again, Ek Bharat, Shrest Bharat and celebrating 150 years of Mahatma Gandhi. Next question. Which neighbor country has recently launched e-passport facility? Answer is Bangladesh. Bangladesh has launched e-passport facility for its citizens and became the first country in South Asia and 119th country in the world to provide e-passport facility. The e-passport will have a embedded chip in them. The chip will contain the biometric data of the passport holder, photograph and other information. It will also include digital security feature in it. The digital security feature is a country specific digital signature. These digital signatures are unique to each country and can be verified using their respective certificates. Next question. Who has launched the web portal Gati created by NHAI recently? Right answer is Nitin Gadkari. Union Minister of Road, Transport and Highways Nitin Gadkari has launched an online portal named Gati. Gati portal is created by NHAI on the lines of Pragati portal used by Prime Minister's office. What is NHAI? National Highways Authority of India. Through this portal, Concessionaries can raise any project related issues on it. Issues related on Gati portal will be monitored daily by a team of officers in NHAI and will be constantly reviewed by the senior officers of NHAI and the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. This helps government to monitor around rupees 3 lakh crore road projects. Next question. Government has set up 24-7 call center for coronavirus in how many cities? Answer is 7 cities. These cities are New Delhi, Kolkata, Mumbai, Chennai, Bengaluru, Hyderabad and Kochi. New Delhi, Kolkata, Mumbai, Chennai, Bengaluru, Hyderabad and Kochi. A 24-7 National Center for Disease Control Call Center has been made operational. 7 central teams were sent to visit states and designated airports. 
to review the end to end preparedness for management and control of novel coronavirus in india this team will consist of a public health expert a clinical and a microbiologist this step has been taken to provide immediate assistance and to prevent the spread of coronavirus coronavirus has recently outbreak in wuhan china next question manupra vero passed away recently he belongs to which profession he was a politician Manhupra Vero passed away at the age of 85. He was a politician. He was the first member of parliament to Raj Sabha from Naga people. He served as MP of Raj Sabha for two consecutive terms from 1964 to 1974. He also served as a member of Indo-Naga Peace Mission during 1956 and 57. Who is the chief minister of Nagaland? Nepu Rio and governor of Nagaland is RN Ravi. Next question. who has been appointed as the managing director of samsung recently right answer is ken kang ken kang has been appointed as the managing director of samsung he is he will be replacing h c hong who is moving to head the latin america region samsung belongs to which country it belongs to south korea samsung is india's largest mobile phone maker by revenue next question Tennis player Joao Olavo Soares de Souza was banned for life due to match fixing. He belongs to which country? Right answer is Brazil. He belongs to Brazil. He was a former Brazilian professional tennis player. He has been banned for life due to match fixing and corruption. He was also fined with an amount of US dollar two hundred thousand. That is US dollar two lakh. According to the Tennis Integrity Unit, he did match fixing in the tennis at the ATP Challenger and ITF Futures Tournament in Brazil, Mexico, and United States and Czech Republic between 2015 and 2019. What is Tennis Integrity Unit? Tennis Integrity Unit is responsible for investigating match fixing in tennis. These are the important current affairs of 27th January. Please hit the like if the content is helpful. Thank you.